Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on degree of freedom. Now we already know degree of freedom is the number of independent coordinates required to define or describe the motion or position of any system at any instant of time. So in this we are given two questions to and we have to find the degree of freedom of these two systems. So this system is a triple pendulum system and this is a two spring two mass system. So in first system we see that this system comprises of one, one, two and three pendulum systems right. So if we uh, you know try to define the positions of the pendulum so because we do not know whether the lengths of the pendulum are same or not right. So let's say that the length of each pendulum we denote it differently so L1, L2 and L3 and as the position shows in the diagram we can see that the angle these pendulums are making with the vertical are also different right. So let's say these angles are theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3 and also the coordinates of the masses attached to each spring they are also different so let's say the coordinates the Cartesian coordinates are x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 right so we already know that if we take the case of a single pendulum so for to describe the motion of single pendulum we need eagle either angle theta which the pendulum makes with the vertical or one of the coordinate x or y why because x and y they both are not independent coordinates one has to be dependent on other coordinate y because the condition that x square plus y square actually gives the length of the pendulum right so this holds true for all the three pendulums that are there in the system so for any pendulum we need any one condition either we need angle theta or we need any one of x and y to describe the motion of the system so one degree of freedom for one pendulum each so there are three pendulums so it will have one two and three degree of freedom it may be in terms of angle theta theta one theta two theta three or maybe x1, x2, x3 or maybe y1, y2, y3. So any one of them. Either theta or x or y. x or y not both of them because they both are dependent on each other. Now the second question says two masses and two springs attached. So we know for single mass spring system we need linear displacement to describe the uh, position or the position of all the parts of the system at any instant of time. So if there are two masses, two springs, we will need two linear motions, two linear coordinates to describe the motion of the whole system. Therefore, the degree of freedom for the system is 2.